Hello everyone, in this video we are given this interesting problem. We have m to the second power is equal to 102 times 101 times 100 times 99 plus 1. And we have to find the value of m without using any calculator. Before we begin, if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. We have m squared is equal to, now we can write 102 as 99 plus 3 then times 101 is also the same as 99 plus 2 then we have 100 which is 99 plus 1 then we have times 99 then plus 1 now the reason is that we want to let 99 equal to a certain variable let's call it n so that we will have m squared is equal to n plus 3 times n plus 2 times n plus 1 times n then plus 1 now let's go ahead and then multiply this n by the whole of this one so we would have m squared is equal to n times n plus 3 then we will also multiply this by this one right so we will have n plus 2 times n plus 1 then don't forget this one over here so you have m squared is equal to, let's distribute this and we're going to have n squared plus 3n. Then we will distribute this n over here. So we're going to have n squared plus n. Then let's distribute these two. So you have plus 2n plus 2. Then we have plus 1. Right, we can simplify this further. So we have m squared is equal to n squared plus 3n. Then from this factor, we're going to have n squared plus 3n plus 2, then plus 1. Now we see that we have n squared plus 3n, and then we have the exact same thing here. So let's go ahead and then let x equal to n squared plus 3n. So the equation now becomes n squared is equal to x times x plus 2, then plus 1. Now we can distribute this one. We have m squared is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. We can represent this by something, right? If we expand something like x plus 1 squared, if you have this one and you expand it, we are going to get this. So we're going to have m squared is equal to x plus 1 squared. And straight away we see that this square and this one will go. Now we have m is equal to x plus 1. But remember that we let x equal to something. From here we have x is equal to so let's put this one back, right? So we're going to have m is equal to n squared plus 3n plus 1. And again we let n equal to 99. So we're going to have m is equal to 99 squared plus 3 times 99 plus 1. Remember, we are doing this without using any calculator. So how do we find 99 squared? We can write 99 squared as 100 minus 1 all squared. And we know that a minus b squared is equal to 
a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So if we expand this based on this identity here, we're going to have 100 squared, which is 10,000, minus 2 times 100 plus 1, right? So we're going to have 10,000 minus 200 plus 1. 10,000 minus 200, that is 9,800. Plus 1, we're going to have 9,801. So it means that 99 squared is giving us this one. So I'm going to write it here. So we have M is equal to 99 squared, which is 9,801. Then 3 times 99, this is pretty much simple. It's going to be 297. Then we have plus 1. So I brought this one here. Then let's sum them because we are adding, right? We are adding them. So we're going to have 1 plus 7 plus 1. That is obviously 9. Then 0 plus 9, which is also 9. Then 8 plus 2, that is 10. We're going to write 0 remainder 1. Then 9 plus nothing is here. So we still have 9. Then plus the remainder, which is 1, making 10. So we're going to have 10 here. So in all, we are getting 10,099 as our final answer. Now, in the description of this video, you get everything you need in order for you to become successful in your educational ladder, right? We have books in the description down below. And then uh, if you want your kid to start with math, using games and stuff, everything is in the description down below. You can go there. And if you have overweight, to everything is down there. So go to the description. A lot of things are over there. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.